Welcome to Ritual Scale Modeling. For my next build, I'm building this airfix at Alpha Vulcan B2, scale 1 to 72. If you can't tell by the bolts, um, this is the new version of the Vulcan, the updated kit that um, airfix brought out the, this year, a couple of weeks ago in fact. It's a new tool, so everything should be custom sharp. So let's see what's inside the box. So first of all, we have the instructions. It's the new kit, so the um, instructions have got their colour code in there. There's quite a lot to the kit. Um, I believe there's a different option as well. I haven't totally gone through the kit yet. But the instructions look nicely laid out and coded for the builder to do. This part here is for the wings, I'm holding up the wings. Um, I'll be heavily leaning on this part for my build, which I'll go into shortly. So, it does look like a basic build, but um, quite a lot of parts. Not as much as, say, the Hellcat or the Typhoon. Um, but there's a lot going on in the kit. So that's the instructions. You have the, um, the nuclear weapon there. We have that option. And then next we have the decal sheet and paint markings. So we have two options here. You have the uh, normal British camouflage and you, you, you have the white for the bomber command. So this was like the early colouring of the Vulcan. It's all white with the faded decals. And then we have the stench so sheet. And as you can imagine, there is a lot of decals here. Now I know some people don't put all these little decals on. I, I tend to put them on. Um, it just makes the uh, model look a lot better. So there's quite a lot there. The decals themselves and um, this all laid out so these are the faded ones for the white flash um falcon and these are the normal ones and the common ones are the bomb by looks of it so onto the screws first of all we have the clear parts so i'm leaving these in the bag um but we have the canopy and uh, some uh, light coverings and so forth and onto the screws first screw I've got here is the nuclear weapon screw. Don't know whether I'll put the weapon on or not, um, but it's there. And we have looks to be the tails and fins and, and so forth. So I'll have a quick look at these. Uh, there's not much flashing on them. So it looks like we have the wheels, engine and landing gear for this screw. The next one we have the nose cones. I've got uh, conventional bombs here. And cockpit compartments. Pilot seats. The has molded seat belts on the actual seat. Um, but you may wish to add some of your own in. But remember, you, you can hardly see the cockpit once the canopy goes on. They're very small windows. Um, so we have the exhaust system and the old um, kit, the exhaust system was a, a real pain to get right um, on the Delta wing. So that would be interesting to see if they've solved that problem. This is uh, the cradle for the wings I think. I have a lot of injection pins here. So it looks like there will be quite a bit of cleaning up to do. And then we come to the wings themselves. But I think this is the top half of the wings. Yeah, they all look alright. A little bit of detail in here for the bomber uh, area. Lower half of the wings. This will actually be the second Vulcan I built. I've already a couple of years ago built the um, the original Airfields kit. And um, I decided to do something different with that kit. And I painted it in uh, Albert's F style. So I painted it in RAF tartan, 
So I'll just bring up a photo of it, and as you can see, that's the one I use in my intro videos. Yeah, I think it was back in 2015 I actually built that Vulcan, and I, I got a lot of hate for it. Um, people really didn't like um, the idea that someone took the beautiful Vulcan and painted their own markings on it. I didn't care, I liked it, and I still do. So this Vulcan, I couldn't really make up my mind how I was going to do it. But what I have made my mind up in is I'm going to be doing this kit like I did my Typhoon and um, Hellcat. Now, if you haven't uh, watched those videos, um, I was I was just uh, going to watch them, even if it's just the, the reveal part of the video, just to see what I'm on about. But basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, all terms of purpose, cutting this Vulcan in half. So on one half, you'll have the complete kit. And on the other half, you'll have the airframe only. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I've got here is the Haynes uh, Auto Vulcan manual. This is the Haynes manual. And um, on the front cover here, you can see the Vulcan's airframe. And the idea is have this section fully formed, um, built as the Vulcan with part of a camouflage of variant because I'm going to do it. And this this half I'm going to be having like this. So all the airframe will be showing into the cockpit and nose cone right down to the tail and also the bomb bay as well. Now it's going to be a lot of scratch building to do this because obviously the kit doesn't come with um, an airframe. It's a bit daunting, but it should be a fairly simple process. Yeah, I say I I could very well get all get this wrong, so it's going to be interesting to see how um, I, I come what, what I come up with. One one of my main concerns is the nose cone. Generally, when you're building a, a Vulcan kit, you have to pack this with a lot of weight, and I mean a lot of weight. Whatever it says in the instructions, double it, double it minimum. Maybe add an hour X of 30 grams or whatever on it. Because it will tail sit. Because there's a lot of weight here um, on your standard kit and it will tail sit. It's a common problem with, with the Vulcan model kit. And there's no way around it. Not even Airfix would uh, be able uh, to, to be around it unless they they supplied you with a solid nose cone with a lot of weight in it. You know, but that would be far too expensive to produce. So, if you're building this, you would have to put a lot of weight in this cone. I'm not going to be able to do that because the cone is going to be on show. So, my options is I may be able to pack a lot of bit of weight in here. Um, and I may hide it there. As long as it's um, above a certain point, it should counterbalance away. Failing that, I'll, I may have to make a little stand or cradle just to hold up the tail because as it probably will tail sit. This book is full of illustrations um, of the Vulcan and this is a, a clear picture here of the airframe and as I say this is what I'll be working off of. So imagine that fully formed Vulcan and this side like that with the airframe. So it's, it's going to be an interesting build. So I'll go off and prime the, the sprues and get everything ready and bolts. And my next video will be the start of the build, the build. So if you haven't done already, as I mentioned before, why don't you check out the channel, uh, see my other builds, particularly the Typhoon and the Elgar. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be um, notified with uh, all the updates for this build and uh, future builds. There will be a lot of videos uh, for this build, uh, especially since I'll be scratch building uh, a large part of it. So hit that like button and um, leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.